As of last night, 394 healthcare workers had received their first dose of vaccine. I know that many people want to be vaccinated immediately, and that is a good thing. We are moving quickly to make the doses we receive available to those who are eligible, and we will continue to do that going forward. There are about 4.4 million Albertans. It will take time to get enough vaccine to offer to everyone who wants it. Please be patient while we all wait for our turn and be supportive of those who are in the initial groups to be immunized. We are starting with critical health care and long-term care workers, as well as those living in continuing care to save lives and protect our health care system for all Albertans. These are people who are most at risk and who are putting themselves in harm's way every day. Turning to today's case numbers. Over the last 24 hours, we have identified 1,571 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta and completed about 19,800 more tests. This means our positivity rate currently stands at about 7.9%. There are now 763 people in hospital, including 138 who have been admitted to the ICU. Sadly, I must announce that 30 deaths were reported to us in the last 24 hours. This is a heartbreaking figure. While these deaths did not all occur yesterday, this is the highest figure that I have had the sad task of reporting. And I know this holiday season will be difficult for many people. This is a particularly challenging time for those living and working in continuing care. To help lift their spirits this holiday season, and show how much they matter to us all, I encourage everyone to send holiday cards, letters, art, or other shows of support to continuing care residents and staff in your community. This small act of giving can go a long way. It will help spread joy and encouragement during the holiday season and remind our most vulnerable that they are not alone, that Albertans care and are thinking about them, and that we are all in this together. Please show your support to a continuing care facility that's near you. If you don't know where to find them, we have posted a holiday article to help. You can find it at alberta.ca slash COVID holiday info, and you'll also find a link where you can search for a facility near you. Also remember that each facility may have a gift policy. So if you're thinking of sending larger items or perishables, please check with operators first. We are still all in this together. So let's be wise, compassionate, and protect each other. Thank you, and I'm happy to take questions.